Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at Unchecky, a program designed to uncheck those annoying checkboxes on programs that have pups, potentially unwanted programs, mixed into the installer. It is really designed for people who probably download a lot of software, like myself. Let's do a quick installation just to show you how simple it is. Click install, it takes just seconds, and when it's done, you're done and it's going to sit down here it's going to run in your tray by double clicking it you can see you have back home you have your settings just a couple of settings very simple to use although they do have a few advanced settings hidden away over here not a big deal nothing you really probably want to play with automatic updates which might use a little more resources don't use your host files but again as it says don't play with it if you don't know what you're doing the about so let's head back home uh, one thing you can do here if you want to stop it for any reason you can suspend it briefly by clicking on suspend and when you do whoops it will show you that the unchecky service is now suspended usually runs quicker than that for me the VMware can be a little bit tricky and of course simply resume your service and once you resume the service it will switch back to green it will also let you know if there's any data to show and an activity log here to show what's going on so over here I just wanted to take a little bit of a look and see what it's using for memory for you. 1.3 megs of memory, little to no disk network usage or CPU. So that's an important factor for people sitting back on. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll use it, but what about system resources? Always a concern for people. So you can see that its footprint is nothing. So that's the only reason that was running. Let's close that out. As you can see, we've minimized it. And let's start with uTorrent. Now again, remember the program is unchecky. It's looking to uncheck boxes. uTorrent usually has, I think, one program in it that is uh, third-party software. So let's take a quick look and see how it does. Again, for some reason, my VMware wants to mess with me today a little bit and run a little slow, but that's okay. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Next. This is all standard uTorrent installation. If you have it, you know that. Next, next. And this should be the checkbox coming up here. Uncheck, you should recognize it and have it unchecked. So if you're in a hurry and you rush around, as you can see, I agree to install, but it is unchecked for you. So there you go. And there we go. We'll finish this off in the background. And we'll look at something else where it may not be as effective, and that would be GOM player. And I've also grabbed something else over here to take a look at that I haven't, so it'll be a surprise for you and me when I run it because I haven't checked it yet. So, so now the GOM player, as we know, also is ad-supported, as we call it, or it has third-party programs. Now the trick here is the program is called Unchecky. It's not called, let me get this out of the way here. Let me show you. We'll get over to here. As you can see, it missed one here. And nobody really uses AdAware much anymore. So there you go. You're going to need to watch it. Still uncheck it. This is unchecked, the Bing. Next. And as I was saying, here's one small glitch with it. It is called unchecky, not undeclining. So since there's no checkbox here, it doesn't know. So if you click, click, click to install, you're going to have whatever good game empire is so you have to know to click decline and install so that's it it blocked those let's get out of this and let's take a quick look at format factory now, I picked these three because they're super popular and they're the programs who can get away with having pups in them nowadays just because people really really love the programs and it's worth a little bit of a hassle for these free programs so again format factory I haven't checked yet so let's see how she works <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's go. I'm in a hurry. That's what gets us in trouble, though, isn't it? I'm going to click install and see what she does. Last I knew it installed some programs. If it doesn't, then, well, I don't look smart, which is all right. <laughs> Yiddish text. Well, you really covered some, uh, yeah, was a, covered some language there when you make sure you got Yiddish in there. So bear with me here. There's a purpose. And run. And it looks like they removed. Aha. See that? I don't know if that's their program. I don't think it is. So 
it wants to install it to the system menu but if you didn't look for that little tiny box boy it's a small box you were about to get another program so the unchecky program is a great idea it's just not currently super effective so it's up to you it can be something to run in the background just to remind you as you go along to keep your eyes open for stuff when you install programs however it's you know it's a it's a single guy developing it needs some work you know report when you find problems help them out if you use it but in the meantime frankly it's a little better to just take your time and watch what you're doing because that's always the best way to do it so there you go there is a attempted brief look failed at unchecky so thanks a lot for watching click on the subscribe and we will see you next time i hope